welcome to another episode of A Lawyer Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. With you once again is me, Ryan, the gaming lawyer. And if you recall, we had returned to our apartment building. We spoke to uh, Miss Reed, our ex-girlfriend's mom, let her know what was going on. We picked up some very elaborate sounding quest from... Uh, to take down a corrupt cop from an undercover internal affairs old friend of ours from the PD. Uh, but our main objective is to go home and check out this implant that we got from the morgue, uh, which we are going to do shortly. But first I did mention that I was going to try and figure out how to spend my praxis points. I would initially like to try to focus on uh, access so I can open more places and go more uh, uh, go more places too I guess you could say <laughs> but um and I'm looking through everything and there's just there's so many awesome options if I want to play kind of a stealthy uh, hacky guy there are a lot of things I could choose from but um, for now I, am, I think I am going to focus on building uh, hacking access up I thought about turrets but uh, which can be helpful, but I think I'd much rather just hit the, uh, get the capture up to three, and the stealth, I think I want to invest in as well. The other thing that I was really considering doing was, uh, the ability to see through walls and punch through walls, because punching through walls sounds like that would let me in places I wouldn't otherwise be able to go. I'm not sure how often that comes up. But um, that is something I'll consider doing. Oh, yeah, the other thing. Um, I think I have decided that in terms of lethal weapons go, I will be focusing on the pistol um, because I'm not going to be upgrading strength so much to open a lot of this stuff up, and I'm going to want to travel light, at least initially. So I am going to uh, upgrade my pistol with that and upgrade my pistol with a little laser targeting system so now I've got a super cool pistol and so now that we've gotten sort of the business keeping taken out of the way um, I will note also I have been messing with sounds again um, and I think the last two episodes might have been a little too loud so but I am playing this is an after hours episode so I'm being a little bit more quiet so it'll work but um, still tweaking here and there now what I think said, should... Oh, she's got a name. A well, let's jump into this. She looks like Judy Garland. Before you ask, no. Your mirror has not been replaced, Mr. Jensen. Okay. Today I've had to deal with petty vandalism, unreasonable demands from corporate clients, and a variety of other pressing problems. So facilitating your grooming <laughs> had to be given a lower priority. Okay, I know I've got a story for, for everything about a job I used to work, but... I was this person for like a few years. I did this in the past. Um, so I can understand the frustration. I think I tended to be a little more positive, but I know there were definitely times when I was I was having I'd had enough that day. So I can sympathize. All right, so hey, maintenance guy. No offense, but uh, if it were up to me, this place would have a no og policy. No offense, you say. But that ain't never gonna happen. Not with people like David Sarif throwing their weight around. Well, boo-hoo-hoo -hoo for you. Okay, I don't think there's anyone... Where are oh. you, Jensen? Oh, crap. I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Uh, I don't like that guy's got his tentacles and everything. And I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Which maybe is a sign that he's actually a good guy. Like Snape. From Harry Potter. But, I don't know, I just... There's too much leaky, techy stuff happening in our building. Makes me worried it's, uh... It's him. He's doing it. Is that my... 
Is this my apartment? Okay, I'm gonna guess that is my, the door to my apartment. But first off, let me introduce myself to my neighbor, who I'm sure would know me by now. Liberty in mind and body. Oh, they were so right when they decided to pick that name. Oh, she's busy on the phone. I was gonna have a little opportunity to chat some more. With uh, why is there another elevator? What's going on over here? I knew you and that nurse were close, but I didn't realize you were that close. Uh oh. I don't know. I guess I wanted to be reminded of what I'm terrible. You were the one who wanted us. Wow, domestic bliss at its finest. For all you kids out there who, uh, you haven't found the one yet, let me tell you, when you find the right one, it's not going to be like this, hopefully. Maybe it depends on the person, but I've been with my wife for 10 years, and we don't have arguments. We got our, you know, everyone's got their little issues from time to time, but we don't have arguments like that. All right, well, this is where I hang my hat. Thank you. Thank you. My house just welcomed me home. Well, let's see. Well, this is delightful. Crunchy pirate. That wouldn't be anything like crunch berries, would it? Magic gnome. Sure, the canned soup boxes. It's a bunch of you know, like opened up carryout containers. Yes, apparently I don't put a lot of effort into my home. Junk? Man, you know what? Hey, there's a gun down there. Where can I... This is going to be our shit corner. Where we're going to put... Just cleaning up our apartment. This... This will be our naughty pile. And you know what? It'll be interesting to see if this actually stays stays this way if I as I come back later in the game. And this stuff I guess I can't do anything about. But crap, combat rifle. I'm gonna have to see i my inventory's totally full. And that's one thing I want to check is to see if I've got a like a safe in here or something. What's this? Do I seriously not have the code to my own house? I'm gonna hack it's my own living room, I'm hacking. Well, on the bright side, I should be able to get that data node, right? All right, let's do this. Access granted. Hey, well, if you get experience hacking in your own house, I guess it's it's not a problem. My secret stash. Secret stash. Holy crap. Pistol armor piercing system. Wait a minute. 10 millimeter pistol? That's what I've already got. Okay, this, what does this do? Okay, well, let's uh let's get that loaded up. Is that automatic unlocking device? What the hell is that? This looked like a grenade. A one shot device. Okay, so this thing. But it still seems like it'd be worth carrying around. Is that pistol? Pistol ammo? Yes. Pistol ammo? Yes. Credit chip? Credit chip? I got so much crap in here. Okay, wait. This is not stuff I can pick up. What is that remote detonated explosive device? Detonate all packs at once. Okay, you can just toss them like grenades. And then press and throw the button to detonate. Ah, 
That seems like a handy thing to have. Okay. I don't need a second gun. There's no dual wielding in this game. Now, what I want, would like to see is... Take, for instance, this plethora of... Ammo for the assault rifle, combat rifle I got. If I drop it, does it... Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just going to make... A... What is this? A combat rifle, which I've already got one of those. If I'm going to take anything as a secondary weapon, it probably won't be a combat rifle, because a pistol can already be a short range, or won't, it won't be a shotgun. So I'm going to drop the shotgun. I'm going to drop... Let's see... What is this? Combat rifle ammo? I'm going to drop that. I should probably have done this, like, between... For now, I'm going to drop sniper rifle, because I don't even have one. Tranquilizer darts I'm not using. Shotgun cartridges we're not using. We are using stun gun darts. Uh, nuke virus, I guess. I should hold on to that. And you know what? We're gonna get rid of our booze. Oops. And our revolver ammo. So we're just not using that stuff. We're gonna move this here. We're gonna kind of even things out a bit. Come here. I'm gonna have those next to each other. And I think we'll put our grenades by each other here. Keep these together. Okay, I think I think we got things sort of organized so as we pick up more stuff. Let me put that away. So there's a combat rifle. Now that could be a word. How much space does that take up? That takes up a big honking amount of space. Hmm. That... No. Oh, Jeez. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. Because I probably should have some bigger guns along. So you know what? I take back what I said before. Where's... Where's all that? Crap, I dropped too much crap in one place. Combat rifle ammo. But didn't I have... Okay. Okay, we'll leave it alone. We'll leave it like that for now. What's this book? I bet it has the code to my stash. Oh, it's just an article about cloak building. Okay, man, my tech dude's gonna be pissed. I'm taking forever. But, again, I've mentioned this game has got so much detail and so much going on that it's kind of overwhelming. Like, I find I feel almost lost. Uh, and I have occasionally I've checked a uh, replay and I have missed things right in front of me. Like, I didn't go into a computer earlier in one of those offices I broke into because I wasn't skilled enough to hack it. And I, I, when I was editing, I looked at that sequence, and they had the password on a sticky note right next to the computer. I was like, oh, crap. Uh, intelligence circuit. I'm not going to be reading stuff very closely. Um, unless it has to do with something I need to get done. All right, well, I guess I'm... Well, let me check. Got to know my place before we... Uh, Oh, close stack. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's... I guess that's the mirror they were talking about. Call landlord. Re-replacement mirror. Again. Was this after I got the implants, or did I just always hate mirrors? Because I have a... F I feel like I haven't been out of the hospital that long. Oh, it's in a drawer. Sure. Is that another combat rifle? Augment you. <laughs> this is have a nice bowl of augment you. A bunch of get well cards. Okay, so it looks like I have been home, obviously. A little uh, bed on the floor with a little sleigh thing going on. 
Okay, I feel like I have fully explored my home and made made a new mess, rearranged an old mess. Let's see what's going on here. Pritchard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My God, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you quite literally into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Hmm. Okay, here's... The mirror, Mr. Jensen, in respect to your latest reminder to have the mirror in your bathroom replaced, may I remind you, once again, that the item is on back order. The situation is out of our hands, and no amount of pestering will make it arrive any sooner. And while on a subject, we are still unclear as to how precisely this mirror came to be damaged. Perhaps you can enlighten us. <laughs> yep, yeah, the building management I worked for would have wanted to know that. Your dog. Adam, I'm so sorry. When Megan died, nobody knew what to do with Kubrick, so I took him in. But I couldn't keep him, and nobody knew if he'd wake up, so I didn't know what else to do. What did you do, Diane? I'm really sorry. He was a sweet dog. Did you have my... Did you have my dog murdered? I said, I'm gonna find her. You, you're gonna take him in. That's fine. You're gonna take in the dog. That's fine. But... If you gave him away, I could see that, but if you had him killed, I don't take kindly to the death of animals. Let's see, welcome Adam. This is just a quick note to welcome you to your new apartment on the back of, back of Seraph Industries. This apartment's from them. If you need anything or something is not satisfactory, please don't hesitate to let me know, and I will pass it on to building management. You'll notice the hidey hole, a sword's built into the wall. The code is 5375. If your key is lost or damaged, I have a backup. Mr. Seraph does also. Damn, everyone's got a flippin' key. And access to my apartment. And everything of mine. Right inside my head, too. Um, the lease is for a year. It has been prepaid in full. You shouldn't receive any questions about rent, but if you do, please feel free to refer them to me. Wish you many happy years in your new home. Oh, it's Athena. That's the, uh, I think that's how they say it with her. I kept saying Athene earlier. She's the, uh, the wizened secretary for my boss upstairs, the lady that I like. Um, okay, well, I, I bet that was the code Adam, for... Adam, it's David. David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory? Well, our dead friend was posing as an anti -og. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. Okay, so that is the same area that we're supposed to investigate stuff for our old cop lady friend who's posing as a lady of the night. So, see, it, and I, may, I think I mentioned when I took it that I would come home first and maybe things would overlap. And I, honestly, I do not remember. How many combat rifles do I have just laying around my house? Okay. Let's have that combat rifle be number three here. So, we got my number one, number two, number three. Let's get it myself all set up. Is this loaded? Is that loaded? Why can I not select my, uh... Is there a separate button for grenade drawing? 
I just want to be, I want to know what I'm dealing with here. G. Okay. So I don't need to have that on my cook bar, do I? So what should I put there instead? Hmm. I don't really see too much else I want to use. Painkillers, maybe? Alright, we'll put this away. Put it away. And we will head out on the town. I think first we want to look for... Establishing security system. What? See you soon, Mr. Jensen. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Were you the one who took care of my dog? Okay. They didn't fix it since, uh, since I got home. Mr. Jensen, I fixed up your apartment real nice. That special request you asked for works like a charm. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, there's lots of room behind the big screen. I put the stuff in there that you asked me to. And thanks for that little something extra you left. The wife will be happy. Well, I guess I'm a decent guy. I didn't remember doing anything for you, but you'll have to forgive me. Somebody shot me in the face. Right in the brain. Right in the noggin. So you're welcome. You're welcome, good sir. I hope you and your wife have a lovely evening out. Okay. Hidden areas will net you small XP rewards when discovered. Okay, we're gonna have a quick... Jensen, I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Pritchard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. Meet the mysterious informant. Is that a quest too now? Man, they never they never let up. Okay. That's O'Malley. I don't want to meet him yet. There's Cholo. And there's O'Malley's apartment. So I think we will this will be the game plan. I might do like a quick little run around here to make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm not gonna enter this area because this is the gate super gang area. And, uh, sort of like MacArthur Park in Los Angeles. I don't go there either. And by offense, if anyone loves MacArthur Park and I just haven't given it a chance, I don't know. Okay, I need, you know what, I've eating back, getting back on task. We're going to make our way down here to this apartment building that we have already opened up and look for O'Malley's apartment. Then we shall continue down and down near headquarters and we're going to check out voices from the dark and meet the mysterious informant, Cholo. And then, uh, provided we're still free to move forward from there, we will come back up through the subway and meet... Wait, do I meet with O'Malley? Can I meet with him before I go into gangland? I think so, right? Gotta look at the quest real quick. Meet with O'Malley. Oh, okay. That's what I'll do. So, execute. Step one. Looking around. Anything? See, this is where they'll end up being a C. Look at that. More painkillers. I'm surprised the hobos haven't gotten all the good stuff already. Do I want to bother with the beer? I think I'm going to skip the beer. You got any credits to spare? I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to use them to buy booze. Yep. You're not that unique, sir. Starting to be... That's like a thing now, you guys say. Okay... this guy? 
Oh, oh, let me guess, you got nothing to spare. That's all right, man. We all got our crosses to bear. Hmm. An understanding hobo. That's nice. Let's see, is this where I go? This is a seedy looking shortcut. I'm gonna quick save. I wish I could quick save in real life. Like if you're walking down the street and you're just like, mm -hmm. I could take a shortcut and you're like, oh, don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. And it's like, well, I could take the long way around. Or, you know what? Quick save. Boom. And then come move forward with confidence. Is there a way to toggle walking? Because I have to hold the button down to walk. Walk. No, I don't see that there is a toggle. That wouldn't be under gameplay. Okay, sorry, I know that was random, but... Sometimes I like to walk. It's more immersive. Hey, gentlemen. You hear what Lazarus been saying? Nope. This country's falling apart, man. Holy crap, the states you're... are looking to leave the Union. You're armed, dude. You're, like, very not subtly armed. Another punk. You hear what that pikish bitch was saying? The resurgence of Detroit due in no small part to Seraph Industries. What a fucking load. Thank you for supporting Seraph Industries. Okay. This is feeling really wrong. Who's this guy? I mind to you. I know you're spying on us. Studying us. I'm gonna be a shameless hack. Anytime I see something I can break into, it's just practice. And, you know, maybe I'll reward myself if there's anything good in there. Okay, so... This is good. Oh. 45%. So see, that's already helped a little bit. Oh shit. I missed it. Granted. Uh, there was an information note and I skipped it. Stun gun darts? Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't use one of those. I don't... Why do you get extras? It's just... I forgot about that. Like all those extra combat rifles. If you pick them up, you get ammo. But it's, it's supposed to be more... You make more money if you're gonna sell them as weapons than if you just pick it up and it counts as 10 ammo or something. How's the scrounging going, sir? Well, looks like you got it covered. Good. Seriously? This is really how you guys get around. I see what looked like a little secret room over here, though. Right there. What's that? Okay, there was a super jump ability. Which is one of the many things that I could take, and I didn't take it. Maybe that'll get me up there. Or there's another way in. I do have a super lift ability, though, that I took right off. So I can lift that, no problem. Uh... There. Just put that. Put this over there. Save. There's some lovely... Lovely basketball court. Okay, gonna go for it. I go up. Oh crap, where the hell did it... Okay, the physics are not exact. Well, I am super strength. Maybe I was gonna say the physics aren't very realistic, but if I haven't played a lot of... a lot of b-ball since I got my bionic arms, this might be totally realistic. What's up, gents? You hear what Lazarus been saying? This country's falling apart, man. States are looking to leave the Union. <coughs> Good point, sir. PG. Okay, what about you, BK? You an ex-banger? You got nope. the look. 
Maybe you know the big ant. He's been busting DRB heads for years. Nope, don't know him. That was pretty amazing. You should be a ventriloquist. You were speaking, like, while drinking. It seemed natural. Totally natural. Okay, just punks. Just all punks. Alright, and we are approaching our destination. Just doing a quick little looky around here. Destinations up ahead. I do notice now that we are at just over 30 minutes in the recording, so I think we are going to call this an episode. I would like to thank everyone for joining me, Ryan, the Gaming Lawyer, once again in another episode of A Lawyer Plays Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. As always, I hope everyone is doing well, uh, and remember, if you like this video, to rate, comment, and if you have not done so, subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, everyone, take care. Bye-bye.